Hello everyone, Jamai Place here again, bringing you another awesome match that I did recently in um, Mechabellum. I am currently around MMR 300, which is quite low, but again, I'm a new player. But like every match I play, win or lose, I've been learning so much. In this match, I went with the Aerial Specialist, I think. Um, because honestly, I just didn't like the combination of the other units. Uh, that the other um, options had. So I had sledgehammers and fangs, who've been kind of growing on me, actually. It's like I'm having love-hate relationships with many of the units. There was a time then when you could never fight me using a fang ever, but now I'm understanding their role in the battle. He went with tarantulas, are heavy mix and crawlers as well as my boys the marksmen again i'm so proud of myself recently because i've not been over relying on the marksmen as much as i used to there was a time when i was just all marksmen all the time but anyway the first round had me placing my fangs kind of like as a meat shield hoping to get rid of his Swarm attack, which they do successfully, and by the time they do that, my sledgehammers should be able to work on the tarantulas. That was the plan, at least, but my fangs died faster than I wanted them to. And by the time they did, these marksmen came up behind me and um, destroyed my hammers but i felt good about that round didn't lose too badly nice exchange <laughs> kind of felt like i had an idea what he was going for when um i noticed that he went with the rhino so i was like um at this point of course i didn't know that he went for rhinos but i went for storm callers because i knew he had some slow units in the tarantula and my plan was to outrange his marksmen. So when by the time they shot one of my storm callers, they'd be dead from above actually. But the plan was to get rid of his crawlers who would be rushing my line so that my fangs would move forward a little bit more um, to get to his. And this is when I realized that he had um, rhinos, but luckily, my missile got the rhinos and slowed them down. That's a that's a feature that I didn't even realize happened. The, the missile is not just for damage, but it also slows units when they are hit by it. So my storm callers are putting in the work, but for some reason, those damn tarantulas took longer to die than I anticipated. But in the end, my tactics came through. So my storm callers called the storms from above. And I won round two. Um, beginning of round three, I think I went with efficient tech research because I knew I wanted to keep upgrading my storm callers. I didn't want more storm callers, but eventually I'd want more range. Potentially to start firing at his slower moving army before they got to me. Uh, but this round, I started to get steel balls because his rhinos could be a problem. They're fast moving, high damage, splash damage, high HP units. And do you know what's good against high HP units? Steel balls. So my steel balls went in, but he had an ace in the hole. He got wasps on my flank. And that was, that was bad, <laughs> because I have no defense against wasps. They crawled up behind me, took out my higher level um, storm callers, and yeah, my storm callers didn't have much of a time to get down his tarantulas, much less his marksmen, and I have no defense against his flying units, no anti-air alive at this moment. And this was when I was like, oh shit. I think I have a problem. Um, the missile had worked for me well, so I decided to, you know what, let's go all in on the missile, even if it's just to slow them a bit, so my storm colors could do more. And of course, 
these wasps on my flank started to be a problem so the plan was to use mustangs to get them but i think he upgraded them like i didn't know honestly that a squad of mustangs would have lost to a squad of wasps to be honest i guess that was a learning experience but he also put another squad of wasps on my flank along with crawlers and more wasps i thought i was supposed to be the aerial specialist anyway decided to get my units a bit meatier upgraded my sledgehammers so that they hopefully lasted longer in the battle i feel like i should have gotten more fangs but in the end i decided to upgrade my sledgehammers instead and yeah he used his ability on his rhinos and this was when i realized that hey he's gonna rely a lot on his rhinos what are the weakness of his rhinos again i lost the battle on my flank <laughs> to the stupid wasps they destroyed my towers his rhinos are raging hell through my ranks i was like ah this is bad this is real bad i had no defense against his flank attack yet again and i lost that even worse than i did the, the, the round before the round i lost before and then i saw hey if you can make wasps i can get wasps too i was like okay this flank thing is a problem i'm gonna get um the aerial specialization upgrade for my mustangs because they're already committed on the flank again look did he upgrade his wasps? Oh no, he didn't upgrade his wasps. And the flank stuff has been working for him, so he decided to go with more flank stuff. I decided to double down on Mustangs, seeing that I upgraded them with anti-aerial. And... Yeah, my balls were kind of doing their job, but I knew that I had to like upgrade them um, eventually. Um, but I went all in more on Stormcaller. So now I've got level 3 Stormcaller with a level 2 Stormcaller. I think I have the flanks covered this time. I did. Aerial Specialization made a big difference. Destroyed his flank. And now my Mustangs can race in please to help me against his Rhinos. But that ability that reduces the damage that his Rhinos take. Rhinos are already quite tanky. And I just couldn't get them down in time. And that was like, ah, even his tarantulas are still alive. At this point, I have 1,400 health points. He has 4,000 health points. But then the game threw me something. Overlords. He went for overlords too. But as an aerial specialist, my air, um, uh, what do you say? Air units are 13% more tanky and do 13% more damage. I knew that I had him on the flanks and then I remember that, hey dude, you've got the wasp swarm thingy. So I immediately got Overlord Artillery, which is OP, if I may say so myself, if you don't um, counter the overlords immediately. I knew right through his center, he didn't really have any anti-air units. And um, he had a lot of rhinos. Of course, at this point, I didn't know that he had got three overlords. But again, my two overlords are stronger than his three overlords any day. So I upgraded my overlords, got some shields to kind of keep the core of my army alive a bit. And I launched my aerial wasps right in the middle of his units to keep things busy. That kept his uh, marksmen busy a bit. While my overlords went to work, my shields are holding up. I got his rhinos down on the flank. My fangs are fighting, but hey, I had a surprise. <laughs> I put mustangs on his flank this time. You want to play flanks? You got to handle the flanks. His overlord got my tower, which was like terrible timing. But then will my mustangs get his thingy yes they do but here i am finishing off his overlord his rhino got my goddamn tower so i needed my mustangs to stay alive if they were to take out his uh overlord but 
it wasn't to be. And I felt good about that when I was like, okay, 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 okay. My overlords are OP and they stay alive long and they're tankier and uh, do more damage. I was like, this is the core of my army, this area here. So let's let's do a, a chunky protect on that. Let's make everybody here very tanky. Let's upgrade my overlords because again, I'm an aerial specialist. I, I was thinking that he was gonna counter my side rush. Um, again, to be honest, the purpose of these units were just to delay his rhinos and other side attackers from entering the battle quickly. And it, I was just trying to like solidify the spine of my, as you can see, the spine of my army so that they would stay alive longer because I knew that if my spine stayed alive, these guys were going to obliterate his side attack. And yeah, he came at me with crawlers, which <laughs> were not a good idea. And looky here, my rhinos, oh, sorry, my mustangs had his flank all covered. I won the middle of the battle, the spine of my army held together by those shields. And boom, that felt good. Yeah, and then we have round eight. I was like, all right, he knows about my overlords. Um, what do I do? He has overlords of his own. Um, I just wanted to kind of get rid of these flank units faster, if possible, so that my own Mustangs could get in quickly on the fight. He went with Fortress, which I don't know if that was such a good idea. And he made his fortress super tanky. But at this point I had overlords. And then I upgraded them to add wasps. <laughs> because again, this entire center of this army is weak against flyers. And I'm an aerial specialist. You know? So as I planned, I got range on my storm callers. Again solidifying the center of my army upgrading one of my overlords to level three i ran out of resources i knew i had the flanks covered i just needed to keep my center alive all right so i got his flying units down i was on his overlord center of my unit my army was going good oh my lord my Mustangs are putting in the work. I just needed to keep him busy. Oh, by the way, I got some more um, Steel Balls. Got to mention those. And boom. Just like that. <laughs> we somehow pulled it off. <laughs> oh my god, that was hilarious. I don't know why it's shown. Oh, yeah, but yeah. Thank you for watching if you enjoyed this. Again, I'm a new Mecha, Mecha Bellum player. Um, Still understanding the game, learning the game, getting better and better each time I play, but it is super addictive. Um, if you like what you see, want to give me some pointers, etc., please hit like and leave a comment with your um, pointers. Feel free to subscribe for more. I also stream over at Twitch at Jamai Plays. Until next time, see you.